I'm really excited to be here at AWS Hybrid Cloud Day. Uh, my name is Shane Sweeney, and I'm the Senior Vice President of Technology at FanDuel Group. FanDuel is the largest real money gaming operator in North America, and our business spans across sports betting, uh, daily fantasy, horse racing, casinos, and more recently, we've just launched a TV network called FanDuel TV. One of our key objectives is launching new sports betting opportunities in every state. However, that comes with a number of complexities. We are effectively like a major e-commerce platform, a trading floor, and a bank with lots of money flowing through our systems. That means we have a lot of regulations, we have significant data residency requirements, we have an internal core focus of delivering responsible gaming, and latency is crucial from a, a risk management perspective. We're in the sports betting business, we're taking wagers, we have to know everything about a sport event in as close to real time as we can. We have many of our workloads hosted in the cloud that scale up and down significantly to deal with the burst nature of major sporting events, including many of our front-end platforms for our fantasy and racing businesses. Just to give you an idea as to how these workloads scale, on Super Bowl Sunday, we scale up nearly 30 to 40 times what we would do on a regular Monday or Tuesday. And as we're in a hyperscale industry, the scaling is also increasing nearly 5 to 10x year over year. We have many workloads that are heavily regulated, including our sports books and our account of wallet platforms, as well as our casino. And there are a number of regulations that we need to abide by. One is a state-specific regulatory environment around wagering, which is done on a state-by-state -state level. There's also a federal law called the Federal Wire Act, which is a financial regulation that doesn't allow financial transactions to cross state boundaries. Imagine you place a wager and that wager has to be settled. That transaction is only considered finished when we fully settle it out after knowing the outcome of the event. For the entire duration of that transaction, we cannot have that transaction data cross the state boundary. This ultimately means that we have to host these platforms within the boundary of every US state on premise and in a data center. We have been deploying outposts in every state where we operate over the last 18 to 24 months and where AWS regions cannot meet our data residency requirements. AWS outposts as key technology really enables us to cookie cutter the deployment and makes it easier for us to pre-stage our environment for test and development, and when we're ready to install by working with our regulators, we can very quickly deploy our production-ready instances of our software and our platforms by using those standardized tools, APIs, uh, control planes that AWS has to offer in the cloud, as well as on-premise. One of the challenges that we face is our ability to get a faster time to market, and Outposts has been a key enabler uh, to achieve that. We've managed to increase our productivity, uh, decrease our time to market from a process that was taking somewhere between 15 to 16 uh, weeks with traditional hardware vendors, down to about eight days from the point at which hardware is being installed by AWS engineers in our data centers to when we launch uh, our products to our customers. We installed outposts in the state of New York and we had AWS engineers in our data center uh, physically setting up on the 31st of December, 2021. That hardware was literally wheeled into the data center that day and we went live to our customers on the 8th of January. It only took eight days between hardware installation through to having a customer place the first wager on the platform in the state of New York, all because of the way in which AWS outposts and the creative solutions of the team uh, came up with using that single control plane uh, uh, across AWS regions and using outposts. It solved at the same time all of our data residency requirements, regulatory obligations, while allowing uh, to scale our business very rapidly in that state. Because we have less work to do standing up infrastructure platforms, that ultimately means we can work more closely with our regulatory colleagues to ensure that we're abiding by various rules and regulations that bring responsible gaming to where FanDuel feels it should be. We have worked with many hardware vendors. We have found lots of challenges keeping up with simple things like device drivers, keeping up with hardware supply constraints, just getting stuff to the data centers was a very big challenge. Outposts streamlines day two operations for FanDuel because our operators can use the same control plane, management console, and tools for outposts 
as we use in our normal regions. We are currently fully operational in 16 US states uh, across the United States with outposts. Additionally, we are working with AWS to have multi-data center topology in every state using AWS local zones, as well as our own data centers that are built with outposts. With this multi-data center topology, we want to be able to provide more stability and availability and to provide the best customer platform possible. We want to be able to build that additional capacity for additional disaster recovery procedures, as well as for bursting for major events like Super Bowl and March Madness, whilst being efficient, which is one of the key reasons why companies move to the cloud.